So a user has recommended, and here's their comment here, a plugin called Wormen Noise Suppression, saying that, you know, this plugin pretty much does everything that, which is my usual chain, which is RX10 Dehum, uh, Expander, RX10 Voice Denoise, and a Denoiser. And this is what that sounds like. You can hear, um, uh, you know, there's very minimal, uh, if any, reduction in quality and it's zero latency that's the big big one for me because i like to do a lot of live monitoring and stuff and this is zero latency so we'll turn that back off and the one that he recommended is this right here which is called rn noise by a guy named worman on github i'll link it in the description and at the end of this i'll show you how to install it there's not a lot of stuff here anyway, let's turn it on so here's how it sounds and the first thing that I notice is a, uh, a reduction in quality. But on top of that, there's a lot of fucking latency. Um, now it seems that you can get it to be higher quality by turning this up. Um, that increases the latency even more. Uh, 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 uh. well, uh, uh, you know, what? It didn't matter. And then we got this bad grace period. I think that's the release. So the threshold, it kicks in pretty quick on the out on the absolute lowest. It doesn't do a whole lot, but you can just do like 0 0.05 instantly. All the noise is gone. And if I start to really turn this up, then, uh, uh, you know, that uh, you don't need to go hard on that threshold. Now, I will say, although there is, you know, 10 milliseconds latency, and I might be able to make that better, um, it definitely works really good. Def it doesn't use a lot of CPU or DSP. I mean, if I turn it off and turn it back on, it's almost unaffected. Whereas with my usual chain, you know, it gets, ooh, it gets big. But the thing is, that sounds a lot better. However, this is very effective. Now I'm going to go in to see any configs and stuff and see if I can make it a little lower latency and maybe a little higher quality. So I'm going to pause and come back. You know what I've discovered, which is uh, kind of funny. Uh, I'm, I switched to the mono version and it honestly sounds a lot better. Uh, you know, it takes a second to kick in. Uh, you can hear it. It starts to get more and more clear over time. It's almost like it's building, uh, I guess a, an idea, you know, of what your voice works like. It's weird. This is not too bad though. The thing is, I feel like this is more designed for like super noisy environments. So let's try that out. And I'm going to turn on a bunch of loud shit in my room. All right, so I have my window unit air conditioner on and I have my PC fans at full blast. So we'll see if this works out well. Okay. You know, it's not terrible. In fact, you know, holy shit, that's really impressive. Listen to that. As for a comparison, this is how it sounds dry. Here's how it sounds with my usual noise reduction. Eh, 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 eh. Wow. Wow. It takes a second to, to understand like what's going on. I guess there's some sort of like AI shit going on here, but for like a, a really bad noisy recording, this is impressive. I bet you you can mix this with like Burdum. And so mix with Burdum, you can hear it. it wow. That's really solid. Holy shit, it's like I don't have any noise, almost. Obviously, well, no. But the fact that I have an air conditioner on, and just a, a recap, here's how it sounds completely with no background noise removal on. It's fucking loud in here. And then we turn this on, and it takes it takes a second to get an idea of what I sound like, I think. I mean, that's pretty impressive for, like, a, a really noisy environment. All right, well, there's the... Uh, Pretty neat noise redu reduction plugin. Uh, I don't think I'm going to use it for uh, live stuff, but I'm definitely going to be using that when it comes to repairing stuff. As for installation, you're going to go to this link in the description, which, you know, showed right here. And then you're going to click noise suppression in the releases right here. And if you're on Windows, Windows, duh. And you're going to download that and it's going to go to your wherever you have it. Uh, for me, it's on my desktop. And when you have that, you're going to unzip it. You get these folders. There's a VST3. These don't matter. It's this 
that matters. So you take these, copy them, and you're going to put them in wherever you have your VST plugins folder for Ableton, which if you look at mine, mine is common for VST3, and then it's just program files VST plugins for VST2. So I'm gonna go down to VST plugins, and I'm gonna paste those in here. So then I have my plugins, and then I'm gonna go into Ableton, options, preferences, rescan. It's gonna find them. And then if we search for RN, then we get the RN noise plugins, and we can throw them on, and they, they do their thing. And they, you know, they honestly do a really good job uh, in high noise environments. So, yeah, go check them out.